Hi everyone, welcome to this new video lecture of AutoCAD. In this lecture, we will discuss about the problem related to the section of solid. So here I have taken a question which is related to the uh, plane perpendicular to vertical plane. So this is the first category in the section plane. So the question we have taken here, a triangular prism of base side 50 mm and axis 50 mm is lying on one of its rectangular faces on the HP, which its axis perpendicular to vertical plane. So it is cut by a section plane parallel to and uh, 20 mm above the HP, draw its front view and section, sectional top view. So first thing, this is the triangular prism. Uh, here I have taken an example of this uh, triangular prism, how it uh, uh, looks. So you can see the, uh, this is the base and this is the top part if you see while it is perpendicular to HP. <coughs> but here the axis is perpendicular to uh, vertical plane. So uh, the triangular prism need to be kept in such a way. So it's uh, one of the rectangular faces parallel to, uh, you can see which is parallel to the HP and its axis, its axis is that uh, from here to here the axis is perpendicular to the uh, vertical plane, okay. And it is cut by a uh, section plane, another uh, section plane is there which is going to cut this um, triangular prism uh, at a distance of 20 mm from the height of, you know, uh, from, from here to it is a height of 20 mm, okay. And we need to draw the front view and uh, sectional top view of this. So front view, as we know that uh, we need to draw a, a triangle here because it is uh, situated like this. So this is our front view. So and top view will be here. So, so we need to draw the sectional top view. So up, first we need to draw the top view of this like a, a prism. Then we'll go for the sectional top view. Okay. So let's start in the AutoCAD. MB setup, paper space no, unit metric scale factor 1 and this is 420 by 297 and I will go for the selection of line just draw a line here and now I need to draw a triangle here okay so what I will do here I will go for the uh, polygon <coughs> polygon number of sides 3 and uh, select the edge and uh, select this and give a distance of 50 and uh, just draw the project some project projector lines particular projector lines from there uh, keep a gap of 20 and go for the axis height is 50 again this is 50 again height is 50 then again it will be 50 okay now it is completed and uh, uh, center point you can draw it here uh, let's drop to here again from here to here we can just join it okay now the next thing is given this is one part okay the next thing is uh, a sectional plane is cutting the uh, triangular prism with a height of 20 mm so for that what i'll do i'll just draw a line and i'll take a distance of 20 and i'll just draw like this okay now this one not required you can just stress this line this side like that okay and from there we need to draw the uh, line from here to here I can just draw it and uh, here to here I just draw after that this is the sectional top view okay and just you can close it just close this one okay so mostly we have completed the diagram now we need to think we need to just we'll give it uh, I'll just change its color and I'll go for it uh, some thickness. Let uh, line word thickness select this, so you can get like this. Okay, <coughs> this one and this uh, I think not required, so we'll go for only normal line and uh, this by layer. And uh, this is actually not required here uh, because we need to give the hatching for this. So okay, let keep it. Uh, then we'll see okay the next thing is we need to give the hatching in the top which is the sectional view this one okay so this part we need to give the hatching so for that what i'll go i'll do here i'll go for this hatch i'll just select this if i select this uh, some options are coming here otherwise you can see here number of options are there 
and here solid angle NC 31, 32, 33, 34, all the different parameters are there. Just you go for the NC 31 and we just can, uh, yeah, just select where you want to mention it. Select that one and select this. Automatically it will be uh, selected this. And uh, meanwhile, this uh, line is not required right now. Okay. Uh, this one we can give a very uh, thick line, very thin line and with uh, no thickness of that. Okay. And this is the answer for that, for us. Now here again, we just need to mark all these points. Uh, so we can go for uh, just select. Okay. And here we can just mark it X, Y line. Okay. And here we just need to give some uh, distance like A. Okay, uh, it is given. Some namings we can mark it here. So here it is B, and this is P. This is given A, and this is I hope C, and this is PQ. Okay, so PQ, and here it is given one, and I hope this is two. Yeah, two three. This is two, and this is three. And this is PQRS, this is R, and this is S. Similarly, we need to just mark it here, all this in the top also, uh, ADS, 1 dash, like that. Uh, and uh, here it is, you can give a B dash, comma, and 2 dash. Similarly, this is comma, and in the top, you can give it here, ADS, comma. Uh, one dash okay similarly here we can mark it c dash comma three dash okay uh, so these are the markings are there yeah and this this uh, this part also need to be highlighted so what i'll do here uh, yeah these are the parts completed other things we'll see now uh, all these things no need to highlight so what i'll do i'll just uh, go for normal and i'll just change it things this also uh, this is also not required so i'll go for only normal by layer and thickness now here actually <coughs> this need to be given as a section line so for that you go for other load and here uh, you can just select long dash line long dash dot line you can also select here uh, Yeah, that one only you can keep it. Okay, and select this one. Just change it to uh, this. Okay. Now uh, mostly we have completed, and remaining things also. Uh, what I'll do? I'll just change it color thickness, and I'll go for this line. And from here, I'll just select this. Select this and here to here select this and this one also i'll just change its color and its thickness okay so by that we can identify this is the portion of section is there okay and dimension also you need to mark it so dimension also you can mark it here uh, for that we just can change it a default a linear what is the axis height is there? Just mark it here. And what is the base uh, is there? That also can be marked here. This is the base length. Okay. Uh, I hope remaining things is okay. Yeah. So this is the part is there. And one more height is there here. So that need to be also given. That is also 20 mm. So I hope you understood how to draw this. Uh, section of solid uh, when it is given like this uh, if you are having any kind of uh, doubt and query regarding this you can give a comment on the comment box thank you all